welcome to my channel. I'm Caitlin and welcome to Caitlin's Corner. And yeah. So I've been going for a while because I am in college. I am a nursing major. I'm still a freshman. I'm in my second semester, so I kind of got busy and I had to stop because I'm trying to keep a high GPA because getting into a good nursing school is competitive. Nursing program, nursing school is competitive. So yeah, today, right now, even though it's like two something in the morning, I'm going to be recreating a look off my Instagram. If you want to go in the comments down below and follow me on Instagram and support, that would I'd be truly grateful and I'll follow you back. And like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know, I kind of feel weird for saying subscribe in the beginning. Well, not subscribe, but like in the beginning and you haven't watched the video to know if you like it. But if you want to like it before you watch it, you can do that. So, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I'm so cringy. Anyways, so first I'm going to start with my eyebrows, which I never do on camera because it takes me a bajillion years. So, I'll be right back. I'm back. The brows are done. They look like they siblings. Okay, they might not like might not look like twins, but they siblings. Okay, so today, like I said, I'm gonna be recreating the look just on my Instagram. I did it for Valentine's Day. Yeah, it was really pretty. I did it with my short cut um gray wig that I cut. And trimmed. I got the wig off Amazon. It was 24, 26 inches. But then, like, every time I get long hair, I always cut it into, like, a jagged flip-over bob or some type of short something. But it's cute. <sighs> so, enough of my rants. And let me get to the look. It may not be like I look like I'm looking off somewhere. It's hard for me to look at my little camera circle and talk to that little dot. So, I'm looking at my reflection. So, the palette I'm using is the matte book by the crayon case. I have a second one over here because just in case, I hit pan on almost every color in this palette. It's gray. It's really pigmented. It shows up as bomb. So, first, I'm going to start off with my concealer in the shade 14 from Juvia's Place. Juvia's? Juvia's, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's the shade 14, and I'm going to be using the shade 14 and 12 when I do my face. So right now for the eyes, I'm just going to use 14. So while I'm doing my face, I'm going to be telling you, have a conversation, even though I'm talking to myself, about what it's like being a college student doing the time, like right now coronavirus what whoever said that online classes were going to be easier than the ones in the classes in club like on campus classes were lying i'ma just i'ma just start with that because that was a complete lie like right now the teachers they don't care about the fact that you, uh, oh no, my camera just did that. Okay, they don't care about the fact that you think about like you may since you may have other classes, they don't stick to their prescribed schedule and they don't like they don't really do the give you the same amount of work they would give you in like a real honest class setting. They give you an assignment that's due like on Sunday night or Saturday, or in the middle of a week, Wednesday, and they know that you don't even see them on Wednesday. It's crazy. So I take, right now this semester, I'm taking Human Anatomy 1, Human Anatomy and Physiology 1. I'm taking Early American History, um, Communications, and I'm missing something, and English. Those are the classes I'm taking right now. And over the summer, I'm taking microbiology and English. 
Challenge Comp 2. So, yeah. This semester, I think I'm trying to at least get by with all Bs. Last semester, I had all A's and one B. But this semester, I packed a lot of, like, big classes together, which was a bad idea, I say. For the students who are going into college right now, don't pack a lot of hard classes together. I thought I was superwoman because I did all A's with my last um, semester. Don't do that. Give yourself at least one or two classes that's in your mandated, like whatever major you're going towards, to like give you a rest. Because this semester, all nighters, I started drinking energy drinks to stay up so I could study. Like, this semester, I have a lot of classes that want exams. So, I'm going in. I'm just talking. I'm going in with a flat brush. I got, like, um, a black set, and I got a pink set of these. This pink. Off of Amazon for, like, I think three or five dollars. And, yeah, it came with, like, 32 brushes. Um, The shade, I don't talk about how dirty this is, okay? I use it almost for basically every look so yeah <laughs> it's so dusty okay so i'm using this hot pink shade you see that's why i have another one it's okay i have a backup and i'm going in with this hot pink shade right oh fuck i'm doing the wrong look i don't even okay so i'll i'll be right back i need to recuperate <laughs> Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Alright, so first, instead of that hot pink, I was moving too fast. We're going to start off with hot with a yellow. But since yellow comes off a little bit um chalky, I'm going to go in with uh, my NYX Jumbo White Lightener. And for some reason, I don't know why they didn't make these to where they could twist up or twist out. But they don't so I'm going to go in it with my flat brush and dig in it and basically put white in that area but since I wanted the whole thing to be bright I'm gonna just drag it out as far as I can so yeah like yeah that's another thing I need to learn how not to do is like not put it like this but kind of turn it to the side so y'all can see. But like I was saying, if I don't pick up on the right part, I do apologize. I do apologize. But yeah, like don't pack a lot of your classes, like hard classes together. You will get drained out. You will become tired. Like yeah and please get your priorities straight like prioritize right because i don't it may sound so sad and depressing but i really i don't go out i don't go to i still have yet to go to a basketball game i still have yet to go to a house party i don't Cause I'm a big study, 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 study. Cause I think about it like this: in the future, you can go to all the parties you want to when you're making bread. When you have your degree and you're making your money and you're doing what you want to do for a living, you can do. You can go. You go. You can have more move around room. But you gotta think about it. Like sometimes you gotta sacrifice to live the way you want to live in the future. And if that means sacrificing a party, if that means sacrificing friends who don't understand that your goals in life and that you're willing to look towards the future and not just stay in the present and living in the present, like you got to have the mindset of living in the future. Like you just got to have that mindset. If not, then you're just going to be stuck in the present. And the present always turns into the past. So, yeah. So, I don't mind 
not going to parties. I don't because I think about it like I want to be a traveling nurse. So when you making almost two thousand a week and it's just you, I just want to travel around the world and live my best life with me. You know, not oh. I want to be confined to one spot and live there at one spot. When I get older, I do understand, like, I need to settle down. But, yeah. I'm thinking about the future. So, I don't mind being um, a house bunny. <laughs> Staying in the house. Okay, now that the yellow is packed on there, you see how pretty and bright and pigmented the yellow is? You know, it's great. So let me show you the yellow I use because I didn't. I use focus. Mm. Okay, I use this yellow. This one. And now I'm gonna go in with this baby blue. I'll probably show a look that I did using this where I turned it into my face into a puzzle and I made the rest of me blue if you go on my instagram you can see that look too and if you want me to do a picture i mean not a picture <laughs> if you want me to do a video on that look um comment under that picture and i'll do a look um i'll tell you how i did it now i'm going in with that baby blue and i'm just going to bring it over for the rest of that way god damn it so Oh, so pretty. That blue is so freaking pretty. It's ridiculous. But yeah. And everybody's not meant for college. I just know what I need to do. And I'm willing to do that to get to where I want to be. But back to the college work. It's not, it's nowhere near the same amount. Like, imagine slick teaching yourself human anatomy and having an exam every every um, Monday. Because even in classes, during class, we would have two classes to talk about that one chapter. And she'd tell us about that one chapter. And then the next Monday, we would um, have the exam. And we wouldn't even, like, you know how some teachers, have, on the test day, they let you go? No. After we finish our test, um, we take out our stuff and we start taking notes for our next exam. Because the next Monday, when we come in, we have the exam over the next chapter. <laughs> Funny story is, I thought it was a game. I thought she was playing, but she was serious. I didn't study for the next upcoming chapter because I didn't know um, that... Um, I guess I wasn't paying attention when she said it, that we were going to have, like, an exam every Monday. I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention to her. But when I came in, and everybody had their stuff off their desk, and they were just ready to test, and I was looking around like, why everybody look so serious? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I wasn't ready. I was guesstimating. I did better than what I thought I did. I, I made a C. Like, I'm glad I have... Like, I'm the type of person, if I write it down, I remember it. If I don't write it down, then, you know, I'm not going to remember it. So, next, I'm going to go in on top of that with this, like, baby blue. I think that's sky blue, and then it's navy blue, but then this is... I'm thinking that's baby blue. So, I'm going to go in with baby blue right above that. Baby blue. Right in here. And I was not ready at all. So, I had to take that in. I had to eat that too. Because I'm trying. I do not. I'm trying. My, I want to try my best to get my associates with all A's and B's across the board. Like, I don't want any any C's because I don't want that to be a reason why I don't get accepted into uh, a nursing program so yeah I'm trying to be on my P's and Q's because this is really important to me 
Cause yeah. Okay, now I'm done with that. I'm finna to cut my crease. Okay. So I'm going to go back in with my uh, concealer in the shade 14. And I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to do a half cut crease. Which means I'm not going to go all the way over. And you'll see, I go higher than my lid because I have a hooded eyelid. You know? I was just, that's a flaw that I was born with. I envy females who have those, like, extended eyelids. And even when their eyes like this, it doesn't crease at all. You know what I would do with an eyelid like that? Oh, my God. Like, having hooded eyelids, you have to think about how you're going to, like, your space. Because you really don't have a lot of space. You won't, like, say like that. And you have to kind of, like, finesse, <laughs> finesse the look because you got to make it look like it's not crammed in that little area. Like, you got to make it look spaced out. So now I'm going to go in and cut my crease with my flat brush. Let me get close so you can see. So I like to go past my inner, I think that's a duck. <laughs> and kind of go in front of that and then swoop up like this like that I don't know how to like swoop up cause this yellow is so bright you really can't see and like that hopefully you can see with the blue what I did let me get, see if I can get closer yeah that's what I did <laughs> Damn. and now you just want to fill it in with the rest of the concealer and the brush and this we're going to use the hot pink that i accidentally put in on say in what that i accidentally put on in the beginning on this eye portion lid thing y'all probably gonna drag me in the comments i swear i'm in college <laughs> but yeah um my school is doing the thing like summer classes are online so, what I was thinking about um, adding another class because I want to graduate. They say I'm supposed to graduate in 2023. I want to graduate before that. So, I think I'm going to take an easy class. One of the classes I have to take is library research. I've come this far and I have to learn. You, like, you want me to take a class where you teach me how to use a library? okay no so i will not become an ask my um student advisor lady if i can if, if it's if it's smart of me to take it over the summer along with microbiology and english comp too and another class i have to take i'm taking in the fall is success seminar i was supposed to take it my first semester but then i told her no I wanted to get straight into it, my real classes, because, you know, <laughs> I was being a hothead, and I didn't want to, like, well, I need to take this at seminar. Just give me my real classes. It sounded really bland. So, success seminar is, like, they teach you how to be successful in college. But I'm like, if this is my fourth semester, what, 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 what is there to teach me? I mean, I'm not trying to act like I know it all, but at this point, it's too late. <laughs> like, studying, I study like crazy. Um, You know, time management is a big thing. It's really important. Knowing how to manage your time and how to, like, focus, like, Sometimes you have to take out your calendar and set alarms to say, oh, I'm going to work on this for this many hours. I'm going to work on this for this many hours. I'm going to do this for this many hours. So you can um know what you're going to do and when you're going to do it. And another thing I do, I'm a huge, a big procrastinator. Like, I procrastinate. Until, like, I know for a fact, like, till I know 
that if I don't do this at this moment, then I might just take the L. But I've never done that. I try not to. Like right now, I have a test in the morning. My um, human anatomy exam in the morning, right? Because right now, I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. But right now, it's a um, Sunday night. So tomorrow morning at 12, I have a human anatomy exam. And I was supposed to be in and checking my notes during the week. But I was focusing on another assignment. So I waited until like, I think I finished taking my notes at 1030 because we have to turn them in now because of this this stupid corona. We have to turn them in now. And I turned them in super duper late. Well, it wasn't late. It was really close to the like the 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 run out time for the assignment. Then the portal closes. You can't turn in your assignment. And I just finished taking my notes. So it's really fresh on my mind. All right, the next color I'm going into is this pretty deep purple shade right chunk. Yeah, so pretty. I know y'all wondering like why I'm not using like switching out a lot of brushes. It's because I have this thing from the crayon case. It's a brush cleaner. So it's like it you rub the brush on there and knock off the dust. And stuff and I'm not like super duper fancy like that so I'm not gonna be like using unnecessary brushes <laughs> but yeah and I'm just gonna put this on the outer portion of my eye this purple is super duper pigmented like you really don't some of the colors in here you really don't need a white the only like a white background to make it show the only colors that need a white background to make it show is the yellows the orange and the um lime lime green are the only colors in the palette that may need a little bit of help with showing but everything else is like there it's you a little goes a long way Now that that's in the blender, okay. I just want to knock it off so I can go in. Let me move this so y'all can see me. God, let me blend it like that so y'all can. And now I'm gonna go back in with some more of the pink. I don't hit all the way paint on this pink because I'm on the edge. Great because the pink is so pretty. I try to use it in almost every look I do. And it took a, it was a while where I was like, Caitlin, try to do looks without pink. <laughs> That's how I made myself blue. Alright. So, now I'm done with that. It's time for the glitter. Yes, I'm putting glitter on me. My eye. So, I'm going in with some silver glitter around the top arch of my look and i'm probably going to fast forward through this because the video may be super duper long i don't want that so i'm using my nyx glitter primer and i'm using some chunky glitter i got off amazon i get all, most of my stuff off amazon I get most of my stuff off Amazon. So, yeah. Amazon. Wink, wink. Hello, blink, blink. I'm a horrible wink girl. But, yeah. It's this silver. It came with um 16. They have some really pretty colors in there. But, right now, I'm going in with silver. And, I'm going to go across this portion of the look i'm using a really thin brush i don't know what it's called it doesn't have a number because it came in a pack of 32 <laughs> and just because it's really good for detailing 
I mean, that much is really good for detailing. Who else uses the back of their hand as like a a mixing palette? Who else does that? Is it just me? I'm going to go in and dust the excess off. Alright, so wait, let me go in and okay. Alright, so now that that's there, glitter on my eyelashes. Now that that's there, I'm going to go off and do my other eye and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I'm done with my eyes, and I went ahead and threw on lashes, so the video won't be too, too long. Um, first, I'm going to, I think, it's late at night, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to use my Fit Me Foundation in the shade 355, and it's called Coconut. And I like to go on, on and apply it with a thin, flat brush, and then use my Beauty Blender and blend it out. My sponge. Okay. Gotta get the forehead too. Alright, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go in and pat it, blend it out. Femi Foundation gives a nice, um, it gives coverage, but like a nice, even, it's not full coverage, but it makes your skin look good. It's not as full coverage as my, um, Juvia's Foundation. But it it does its job. It's nice. It's I was using um this fit me before I got on the um Dugas foundation. Fit me was my first foundation when I first started doing makeup. So, so yeah, blend out the forehead. Now it's time for my concealers. Again. All right. Okay. I'll go back in and fix that. <laughs> 
two. Now it's time for my concealers. And right now, I'm going to go in with the shade 12. I'm going to go... <laughs> yeah, this is it. The shade 12, I'm going to... Like that. Boom. And I'm going to start with my chin and then my forehead. To do the same with the other side. Now, before I go in with my brighter um, concealer, I'm going to go in with the shade Stick Beanie from Julia's Place. Beanie. I wouldn't say I like contour. I'd say I just bring back like the shading in my face, kind of like bronze. Yeah, bronze. Yeah. So it won't. So my face won't just look like like a pancake. So yeah. And then you just go in and you just blend this out. Okay, you just blend this out. And the glue I used to put on my um, my lashes is the Duo um, Eyelash Glue with Vitamins. It makes me feel like healthier, <laughs> if that makes sense. You know, it makes me feel like I'm doing something fancy and I'm really not. And the chin. Right. Now that that's done, I'm going to powder. That's two different powders I use. I I like. I got the. Ciate London Coconut. This is really good setting powder. I got it out of the... I believe I got this out of one of the... um The BoxyCharm boxes. This is really good. But I personally wouldn't spend this much money on the product with such little content inside of it. But the main setting powder I mostly use is the Airspun Setting Powder Shade Translucent. It's $6 in Walmart affordable and it does its job really good so that's a win-win for me it's just the other one for it to be so expensive and have like you can look across and see that it's empty and you just bought it no so i'm going to pat it on under my eyelid basically everywhere i put everywhere i put um that concealer. Do that. Mm-mm. La 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 la
Yeah, I got this from. Did I get this from Boxy Charm or Fat Fun Fit? I think I got this from Boxy Charm. Yeah, and it's these. These, I think these are like probably the most like nice and expensive brushes. Like these brushes are great. I probably wouldn't pay for them because of price, but these brushes are bomb. This is the brightening brush. It has a name on it. Fancy. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna go and just the brush the palette off. And some people go, I noticed some people go in their videos and they like put a filter on their face to make their skin look proof. Not that I ain't got nothing to do with it. Like I ain't guessing if that's what you wanna do, then yeah, it's pretty the way to go. But I don't think I'm going to do that because I want you guys to see like exactly what it looks like. So it's like no finessing. <laughs> Why I say it like that? It's no finessing. Right. Now, I'm going to take another palette. This is also from the crayon case. It's the Wash Me Blush palette. I'm going to go in with the shade Cobbler. This red. And these are beautiful. Let me just say that. I'm going to go in with Cobbler. And everywhere I put powder, I'm going to go over that with the shade Cobbler. To kind of tone down the brightness. Even though it's not super duper white. I don't want to be like, you know, take a flash picture and then it show up on the flash white. That's not cute. So I noticed going over it with the nude helps it. It looks real nice. Now it's time for me to wash, and I'm going to use which brush? Which brush? I can't find my bronzing brush, so I'm going to use the same brush I just used. Wait, this. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna experiment today. I'm going to use this as my bronzing brush. And let's, let's see what this do. I'm going to go back in the matte book palette. And I'm going to I like to use these shades down here to bronze. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of this and this. Both of them, like a tad bit of both. And start up here and then drag it out and then Okay, and this video might be really, really long. <laughs> but this is honestly me doing my face without me speeding. Well, I'm, I'm rushing. Yes, I am rushing because I don't want to be super duper long. I almost dropped it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's do this. Alright. So, start up and bring it down. La 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 la. The boys are sleeping. <laughs> Snatch the face. Like to go around with the leftovers. And now I'm going to go back into the um, Watch Me Blush palette. I'm going to go in with this dark brown. Just a tad bit of it because it is a bit darker than what I prefer. But I tried something on another look and it actually looked good. It's just, you know, the slightest bit to like darken it enough for me. Just a touch, not much. You probably don't notice it's there because it's light, but yeah, just a touch, not much. Mm -hmm. 
Seven. Really strong. All right. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go back in with this yellow and fix this. This overlap right there. Yes. Okay. Now we're basically finished. Now I'm going to use my Mario Badescu um, Rose Water Spray. Now it's time to highlight. Yay. So I'm going to use Anglola to highlight. It's also from the crayon case. <laughs> I use a lot of crayon case. Hint, hint. Super. I've been waiting to be a crayon cutie forever. So. You know. It would be nice. Be a crayon cutie. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to go in and I'm going to start with my nose. Oh, the big thing, right? No. And this portion of the nose. Period. The side of the nose. Period. 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 That's all I can say right now. It's period. Watch. Watch this. P period. Period. But yeah. <laughs> I need to go and watch. I think I'm. I think that's Mean Girls. I need to watch Mean Girls. I keep singing songs off Mean Girls. I have no idea why. I like a little four leg. Little I said four leg. Little forehead. I have what? A little forehead highlight. Bling bling shine bright like a diamond. Same break like a diamond. Okay, let me stop. And we're done. We're done. We're done. I know. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty. Yeah, Fenty Beauty um, lip gloss in Diamond Milk. Mm. Yes. And now I am finished. This is my look, my recreation of my look on Instagram. If you like this video, even though it's probably going to be like super duper long, if you like this video, like, leave a comment. If it's something I need to improve, um, subscribe, 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 so we can, you know, so I can have actual friends, people to talk to. <laughs> Yay. Go follow me on Instagram and support. And if you like a picture that I post of my previous looks on Instagram, if you want me to recreate it, please go and comment on those pictures. I have a lot of content and creativity in my mind. Big brain boobiness. Yay. So, have a nice day, night, morning, whenever y'all watch this. And be 